Today, let's talk about my Arab perfume collection. These are all of the Arab perfumes that I own and today, let's go through them one by one. Product availability, of course, is Shopee and Lazada. Ililink ko na lang lahat. And when it comes to price range, it actually depends. So it starts from around 250 to, I believe, yung pinaka-expensive dito is around 2,500 or less. Making it inclusive in terms of budget kasi you have options. Presentation-wise, Arab perfumes are always on point because sobrang premium, sobrang luxe. I mean, just look at the bottle. You're literally getting what you're paying for. And to start, let's talk about these small ones first. First up, we have Soft by Al Rehab, which is great if you love sweet scents, especially mga juvenile. That is how basically this one smells kasi. Initial spray of this perfume, you can definitely smell the lemon note, sobrang prominent niya. But once nagsettle na siya sa skin, doon na lumalabas yung sweetness niya, yung caramel note, yung vanilla. And sobrang yummy ng umay niya kasi it smells like lemon pound cake or vanilla cupcake with lemon extract. If you love pink sugar, this one can actually pass as a dupe. These two are like sisters. Mas strong lang yung citrus note na meron dito sa soft but as it settles mas nagiging close na yung amoy nilang dalawa amazing projection talagang amoy na amoy siya and this one lasts for about 4 hours on my clothes next up we have red rose which is also by Al Rehab and for this dalawa yung perfume notes na meron siya and that is vanilla and red rose pretty straightforward but to my nose to be honest hindi ganun ko prominent or noticeable yung vanilla note na meron siya this one to my nose is basically a very powdery floral scent which to be honest I don't mind because this one actually is smells really good. Very classic, feminine, and sophisticated. Okay na okay din tong perfume na to, especially sa mga beginner when it comes to floral kasi hindi mature yung scent niya and easy on the nose. In terms of similarities and dupe, this one actually reminds me of Kenzo Flowers. Pwede siyang dupe. Kaya, if you love that, this one right here, for sure, magugustuhan nyo din. This one, by the way, is not too strong. Very moderate projection and lasts for more or less 3 hours sa damit. This one is Golden by Al Rehab, which is actually my least favorite sa first Four. Sobrang layo kasi ng amoy niya sa mga notes na meron siya. Meron daw siyang amber, floral notes, vanilla, caramel, and oud. But honestly, to my nose, ang layo. And to make it easy, basically, to my nose, this one, yung amoy niya is very similar sa mga sabon na inuwi ng relatives natin galing abroad. Just think of that. Basically, yung mga sabon na kulay white na, again, galing abroad. That, to me, is how this perfume smells. Again, not my most favorite, but longevity-wise, this one right here, actually, very long-lasting. And finally, we have this one, which is called Dalal, which also happens to be one of my favorites. And for this one, to make it short, scent-wise, this one basically smells like a sophisticated caramel perfume. That is the most prominent note na maamoy nyo dito, yung caramel. Although sa initial spray, actually, meron din siyang orange, but it's very light, kaya... It doesn't overpower the caramel, vanilla, and sandalwood na meron din dito. Such a beautiful scent. Sobrang expensive ng amoy. If you guys are familiar dito sa Gold Couture by Juicy Couture, Dalal is basically a less sweeter version of this. Medyo magkalapit yung amoy nila. Kaya if you feel like Juicy Couture Gold Couture is too sweet for your liking, then I suggest that you try Dalal. But just an FYI, hindi sila 100% close ha or dupes. They have the same vibes lang. Longevity of this is around 4 hours on clothes which is not bad considering it's price. This one right here is Choco Musk. And this one is actually my very first Arab perfume. If you guys are into gourmands, this one right here is for sure something that you will also enjoy. So freaking yummy. And to name a few, this one meron siyang vanilla, milk, chocolate, white musk, meron din siyang cinnamon, and amber. But to me personally, this one basically smells like chocomallows. Kaya if you love that kind of scent, something na sobrang yummy and edible, then this perfume is for you. Great for layering as well. Kaya if you have other gourmand perfumes, pwedeng pwede yung gamitin tong pang mix. Sa mga BBW mist, ganun, bagay na bagay to. Again, I love the EDP variant. Kaya I even purchased yung body spray and yung perfume oil version. And by the way, this one right here, sobrang perfect niya, especially if you want to amplify or make the scent more long-lasting and potent. This one right here is Love Apple by Al Rehab. And this one is great if you love fruity scent, but hindi yung typical na fruity scents. You know, yung fresh lang and sweet. And what makes this different kasi is that meron siyang cinnamon, which makes it a little bit spicy and warm. And by the way, in terms of notes, this one meron siyang green apple, vanilla, cinnamon, and musk. This one actually also reminds me of C2 Apple. So just think of that. Tapos mag-add kayo ng vanilla and cinnamon. Ayun, ganun yung magiging amoy niya. 
And once in a while, kapag naaamoy ko to, it kinda remind me of an apple pie as well. Longevity is good. Like, past 4 hours, amoy na amoy ko pa and makalat din siya. I mean, talaga maaamoy. This next one is Pink Breeze by Al Rehab. A very beautiful, fruity floral scent. And for this, to name a few yung mga notes na meron siya are raspberry, strawberry, meron din siyang custard and magnolia, tuberose, coconut, floral notes of course, and sweet notes. If you love gourmands, you will love this. And actually, this one in a way reminds me of Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. So, if you're looking for a perfume na ganun yung vibe, this one right here, baka magustuhan nyo. This is also fruitier. So, yeah, basically, this is their take on Good Girl. Same with Love Apple, 3 to 4 hours. Pink, breeze, amoy na amoy ko pa sa damit ko. And the projection is really good as well. Next up, we have this one from Pandora Scents and it is called Roses Vanilla. And this one right here is actually a dupe for one of my favorite Mancera perfumes. This one right here, Mancera's Roses Vanilla. Kaya if you want to smell like this without breaking the bank, go with Pandora Scents. If I'm not mistaken, this one nabili ko siya for almost 5k. Which I don't mind kasi this one smells beautiful. But of course, not everyone are willing to pay that much. And if you're one of those people, then just go with this dupe. I believe this one is like 1,000 plus. Probably less than 1,200 though. But scent-wise, I kid you not, these two are like twins. Talagang magkalapit yung amoy nilang dalawa. And for those of you na hindi alam yung scent nito, basically it smells like sugared roses with vanilla. Actually, ayun lang yung notes na meron dito sa perfume. Very straightforward siya. Very sophisticated and class. Can even pass as a wedding scent. Average projection for this perfume and around 3 hours bago maging soft yung scent nito kapag ka spray sa damit. This perfume is by the brand Dama and it is called Golden Sun. And this one right here is actually a very beautiful and sophisticated vanilla-centric scent. To my nose, that is the most prominent note na naami ko every time na ginagamit ko to. Sobrang bango ng vanilla na meron dito. It's very creamy and almost powdery, kaya ang smooth ng amoy. But aside from vanilla, which is yung base note na meron dito, meron din siyang pink pepper and bergamot sa top note, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, and ilang-ilang sa middle note, and again, base note, meron siyang vanilla, Benzoin and drum. Such a beautiful scent. If you're looking for a perfume na sophisticated but not too strong, for sure you will enjoy this one. This one right here is by Latafa and it is called Amir Al Oud Intense, which is actually yung pinakamatapang na Arab perfume that I own. This perfume is literally a beast. And just in case first time yung madinig tong perfume na to, this one is basically a very strong woody scent. Very straightforward when it comes to notes. Meron siyang oud, woody notes. Notes. Meron din siyang sandalwood and sugar tsaka vanilla. If you guys are familiar with Margellas by The Fireplace, this is actually a dupe for that perfume. And to make it simple, basically this one, yung amoy niya talaga, amoy burning wood. Just think of fireplace, ganun. Tapos when it comes naman sa sweetness niya, again, meron siyang vanilla and sugar. So just think of marshmallows na binaburn sa fire. Just combine those two. And etong perfume na to yung kakalabasan. Mas okay tong perfume na to kapag ka malamig. Again, this is a very strong perfume. Kaya I do not recommend overspraying. I'd say 2 to 3 sprays lang. Projection-wise, kahit malayo, amoy na amoy to. Longevity-wise, up until the next day. Lagpas 24 hours, lagpas 12 hours, amoy na amoy pa sa damit. Next up, we have... Mocha Woods by Fragrance World. Literally so obsessed with the bottle. I mean, just look at the details, diba? Anyway, so for this specific perfume naman, actually, it slightly reminds me of Rose's Vanille as well. But what makes this different is to my nose, spicy yung scent niya. And also, this one right here, meron nga pala siyang coffee note as well as tobacco. If you guys are familiar sa intense cafe ng Montal, medyo malapit yung amoy nito doon. 3 to 4 sprays lang, you're good to go and okay yung projection niya. If you're looking for a rose perfume na sobrang classic and timeless. This one right here, okay siya. Mas okay tong perfume na to kapag ka malamig. Another one for the gourmand lovers, this is French Coffee by Al Rehab. And grabe guys, this perfume right here smells so freaking yummy. If you're looking for a perfume na may coffee shop, yung amoy bagong roasted coffee, creamer, you know, yung mga sweet and creamy drinks. This gourmand perfume right here will give you that vibe. This is one of those perfumes na kapag ka ginamit nyo or in a spray, as in non-stop yung pag-sniff nyo, especially sa wrist or sa mga areas na nilagyan. That is how yummy and addicting this one is. Very prominent yung coffee note na meron dito, which I love. A little bit bitter, but in a good way. And aside from that, it's also creamy, which I love. And by the way, aside sa coffee note, this one meron nga din pala siyang chocolate, coconut, vanilla, 
Vanilla Brandy and Woodsy Notes. Love the dry down as well kasi it slightly reminds me of Hansel Mocha. Projection is amazing, it leaves a scent trail and compliment getter. And by the way, this one on my clothes lasts for over 4 hours. This stunning bottle is called Jazab and it is from Ard Al Zafran. And for this perfume, to name a few for top notes, meron siyang apple, peach, and plum, rose, lily of the valley, and jasmine for heart. And then for base, meron siyang vanilla, tonka, cedarwood, and patchouli. For those of you na mahilig sa mga perfumes na very thick, dense, and talagang potent, this perfume right here, grabe, sobrang intense. This one is a fruity floral scent, by the way, and sobrang prominent ng fruity notes as well as yung patchouli. Initial spray of this is actually really nice kasi amoy na amoy yung pineapple and peach. It's so juicy. A little bit on the mature side, by the way, and yung scent niya, if you guys are familiar sa Lancome La Vie Belle, parang ganun yung vibe. Again, vibe lang, but hindi sila dupe. Sobrang makalat din yung amoy nito, guys, and it lasts up until the next day. Again, this perfume is a beast and I don't recommend overspraying. I'd say 3 sprays lang okay na. This one is from Pandora Scents and I think obvious naman kung ano yung ginagaya niya or yung inspiration. PR540 and for this, yung pangalan niya is Pandora Rouge. And I must say na very impressive kasi sobrang close nung amoy nito sa BR540. I'd say 85 to 90% close. Very impressive for a dupe and nakakatuwa kasi kuhang kuha niyo yung burnt sugar na meron sa BR540. Longevity wise of course, hindi siya kasing long lasting ng BR540 which is expected because this is much cheaper. Longevity of this on my clothes around 3 to 4 hours and average projection. By the way, kwento lang, I was actually supposed to purchase BR540 kaya lang nung bumili ako ng decant, every time na ginagamit ko siya guys, sumasakit yung ulo ko, nahihilo ako kaya... Hindi ko na binili. And to be honest, sa dami ng mga naka-BR540, specially inspired, I feel like, I don't know, parang hindi na rin ganun ka worth it bumili ng mahal. But yung overall for me, this one right here is a great alternative for BR540. This one is from Emir. It is called Frenetic. And actually, itong isang to, dupe siya ng popular na Dior perfume. Na hindi ko ma-pronounce, kaya ilalagay ko na lang sa screen yung name. This one is actually a very unique scent. Unique but in a good way. Sobrang kakaiba yung amoy nito compared sa ibang perfumes that I own. And for this, to name a few, meron siyang lavender, mint, sour cherry, jasmine, and freesia. Meron din siyang tonka bean, vanilla, cacao, milk, sandalwood, leather, and cedar. Sobrang mishmash, but actually, it works. When you think of it, very complicated. But actually, this one, sobrang smooth and calming, no scent. You can definitely smell the mint, the lavender, a little bit powdery as well, and very smooth. Ang hirap explain but it's unique. And this one as well, okay yung projection niya. Four sprays, five sprays, you're good to go. And for sure, kapag ka etong perfume natin yung ginamit niya, wala kayong masyadong kaamoy because this is not your typical type of scent eh. Projection of this perfume is moderate in my opinion and around three hours, soft na yung amoy niya so you need to reapply. This perfume is from Maison Alhambra and it is called Kismet. One of the most beautiful white floral scents and this one is actually said to be a dupe for Killian's Good Girl Gun Bad. Look at the details, grabe. Such a beautiful bottle. Perfume notes for this, to name a few, meron siyang apricot, jasmine, tuberose, amber, and cedar. This perfume is just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, sobrang elegant, classy, one of the most feminine, sophisticated, and elegant perfumes that I own. Great all year round, any occasion, bagay na bagay. Especially kapag ka nakadress kayo, white flowy dress ganun. I swear, ang lakas maka-feminine na itong perfume na to. And of course, let's not forget about the apricot or apricot na meron dito. Such an amazing addition kasi it added that jammy brightness to the perfume. Projection-wise, I'd say moderate. So kahit maglagpas four sprays kayo, pwedeng pwede. Dry down is amazing kasi it becomes softer and airy as in ang light and sobrang easy on the nose. On clothes, this one naglalast siya sa akin for about 4 hours to 5 hours. Next up, we have Camera by Latafa. An oriental spicy perfume and I absolutely adore this one. And for this, to name a few yung mga notes na meron siya for top notes are cinnamon and nutmeg, middle notes, praline and dates. And then for base, meron siyang vanilla, tonka bean, and amber wood. And yung nakakatawa dito is that lahat talaga ng notes na meron siya well blended kaya ang smooth, ang sarap sa ilong. By the way, quick heads up lang, this perfume is very heavy on the cinnamon, so if you don't like cinnamon notes, baka hindi nyo siya magustuhan. But ako personally, I love it. I don't know if it's just me ha, but this one to my nose literally smells like butterball but merong cinnamon. If you guys are familiar sa kending butterball na sobrang nostalgic, ayun, don't may resemblance yung amoy niya but just add cinnamon. This one right here performs really well kapag ka malamig. And actually, ito yung isa sa mga perfume na dinala ko when I went to Baguio. And I must say na super impressive kasi yung jacket na inisprayan ko, 
ko. Nung pauwi na kami nung nilabas ko siya sa bus, grabe, amoy na amoy. Sobrang strong ng projection and it lasts the entire day. An absolute compliment getter and it just smells so good. Doesn't smell like your typical designer perfume. This is Yara by Latafa, one of their most popular and trending perfume right now. For those of you na naghahanap ng perfume that smells very soft, creamy and feminine, this perfume is it. Literally love at first sniff. And to name a few for this, meron siyang heliotrope, orchid, tangerine, meron siyang gourmand accord, tropical fruits, vanilla musk, and sandalwood. This perfume right here is literally one of my newest obsession. As in, I cannot stop using this. Such a beautiful scent, I swear. If you love gourmands, creamy scents, you have a whipped cream, you have a dessert, na hindi super sweet ganon, Yara by Latafa, you will absolutely love. This perfume also projects really well and very long-lasting. By the way, this one nga pala was gifted to me by MJ Chua, one of my trusted perfume sellers. Another thing TikTok trending perfume and super popular is this one which is called Nebras by Latafa. The ultimate vanilla scent. For those of you na mahilig sa vanilla scent kagaya ko, this one right here is definitely a must have, a must try. And for this one, to name a few yung mga notes na meron siya are red berries, a mandarin orange, vanilla, sugar, cacao, and tonka bean. And I promise you guys, this is one of the most addicting vanilla scents that I own. Initial spray, you can definitely get that little spicy note but after a few seconds, it's like magic. It settles into a warm, sweet, and cozy vanilla na. Even yung berry and sugar note na meron siya, very prominent. Most specialist initial spray, which I absolutely love. This perfume literally reminds me of a vanilla cake batter. Sobrang rich and decadent. It's yummy. Nakakagutom. If you love Eilish by Billie Eilish, Nebras by Latafa is perfect for you kasi this one is actually a dupe for Eilish. And guess what guys? Mas long-lasting pa tong Nebras kesa kay Eilish. And yung nakakaloka pa is long-lasting na to guys. So, this one is definitely a bang for your buck. These two literally smells the same. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video and thank you so much for watching!